So there's lots of TV dramas out there, lots of teen dramas. What makes this one stand out? Uh, simply, it's not a teen drama. It's, it's as simple as that. I feel like it's 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 its own show in the fact that I think shape-shifting, I feel like it hasn't been um, tackled in the way that we've done it and um, just ultimately the story. But I feel like, yeah, um, Netflix allow us to have the creative freedom to create whatever shows we want to create you know and I feel like Netflix I mean the innocence can't be pigeonholed into anything really I feel like it's yeah it's its own show and I feel like when audiences do watch it they'll see that and I understand you've been to some pretty amazing locations but it's also you know sci-fi a lot of stuff's happening in CGI afterwards so what's your experience of making the series in sci-fi in terms of making sci-fi um, I did a show called Wizards vs Aliens when I was about 18 years old and that was with the Doctor Who guys so I had a small very small experience about how it works and stuff, but ultimately, um, you know, when we use sci-fi, it wasn't, uh, a, you know, a, a green screen that comes in halfway through the shot. It was about us physically working out the performances, the emotion, and and then we apply uh, uh, this the shifting aspect to it, you know. So, um, and and we did that, you know, we had amazing locations, like you said, you know, we was in Norway, Yorkshire, London, and um, each. Each location gave a different energy, different feel to the show, and I feel like even in the shifting aspects to it as well, it has a different tone as well, you know? So, um, yeah, ultimately, the show is very grounded in, in the fact that it's about the relationships and the shifting and the, the sci-fi is added on top of that. Sorry to interrupt. No, sorry, no, sorry. No, 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 no. It's a bit of a love fest on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? I'm good, man. Yeah, good. Sure. Thanks very much. Yeah, I try yeah. occasionally. Three pieces. I see you. Okay. Is <laughs> it so, very well dressed cast? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I feel like he's upstaged me now. I feel like I'm going to go change. Um, <laughs> no, he's, he's, bless him. I love him so much. Um, no, I feel like <laughs> it's a question of like, you don't know what can happen. And I feel like that's the best place to be in. I feel like just let let hap wh whatever happens will happen and um, ultimately for us the focus is on the premiere and um, and our job's done we, we've created the show we've uh, you know portrayed the characters and ultimately it's whether or not audiences take to it and um, I'm proud of it so um, you know either, either way I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens I feel like for me it was the fact that this is even though it's a sci-fi show, it's based around the relationships of the characters, and I feel like it's it's um, you can take the sci-fi out of it and it can still breathe. And um, and also as an actor, I, I looked at Harry, and for me, it just I connected with him, and I felt like the writing team did such a great job about that. And also at the same time, it wasn't um, he wasn't specified on on how he looks or anything like that. It was just he was a character with loads of layers and. He went through this, this, and he goes through this journey with his girlfriend, and that was that. So, ultimately, I just remembered reading the script and going, I can't wait to be a part of this, and luckily I'm here. So I play a character called Harry Polk. Uh, he's a 17-year-old 17 uh, 17 guy, and um, the best way to describe Harry, he's the kind of guy to make the most noise in a room, but he's often the loneliest inside. And that, for me, struck a chord when I first read the scripts, because I feel like we all... Uh, are ever changing, ever growing, and at, especially at that age, we can all remember trying to find out who we are. And I think that's the most exciting time about life as well. It's about making choices about who we are. And at the same time, we make certain choices, and then we must uh, see what happens in terms of the consequences. And that's about growing. That's about learning. And I don't think we ever stop doing that, you know. And it goes back to this show. I don't think it's about a show that's a, for a younger audience per se. I don't think it's, it's a teen romance. I think it's so. It's much more wider than that. It's about identity and people searching for themselves and being comfortable in their skin. And I feel like that for me was why I gravitated towards Harry. And out of the extra, extraordinary things, I think um, quite simply for me, it's just Harry's choices that that strike me and and for why it was intriguing it was um the relationships that he has with his with his mum and his dad and that that's something new and it was also challenging um so i just felt like yeah that was why i, I you know wanted to be attached yeah no absolutely um like i said it's about characters searching for who they who you know who they are and ultimately for harry he runs away because it's about the freedom to you know wanting to be himself but at the same time uh 
overcoming the responsibility of you know of, of that pressure of, of, of looking after and catering for his dad. He you know he wants to work out who he is and find out that you know. And I guess June brings out that you know June is his escapism. You know she's the only person who can see Harry for who he is. And I feel like that's the one thing that you want in a partner. And uh, and, and working with Soraka it was, it was amazing. It was it was. It just was. I feel like you know when we first did the audition and the uh, chemistry uh, tapes, it just clicked, and we both went on this journey where we're both overwhelmed and we were anxious and we were confiding in each other. And it's quite similar to the characters, really. The fact that they are learning, growing, and sharing so much, and um, dependent on each other as well. You know, so I feel like that sums up my whole experience.